Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. I've been playing some Malikos Druid recently, trying to figure out just how good is it after the nurse. And in this feature game, I'm taking on a cloning gallery priest. But sometimes they might have surprisingly many cloning galleries. Let's go take a look. I think I'm keeping Malfurion against a priest. Of course, it could be yet another APM priest. Yesterday I played against four APM priests. For some reason, everyone seems to be playing APM priest. That was kind of crazy, really. I really need to up my Malikos Druid game a little bit. Because I think this deck has a lot of potential, but it's very difficult to play. And it's facing a very hostile meta, too, but... It's just such a, such a flexible deck that it has the tools to survive in that meta. But you can't afford to make mistakes. Any mistakes and you die. Oh, this is the OTK priest then. So who is going to OTK first? I can spell Stone to Gargoyle, but I don't think I want to. Maybe we just hit face and wait. Let's see. Maybe plenty of other things to spell stone later. I just keep buffing up the spell stone for now. Next turn I'm playing the Malfurion. Most likely. He can play Shadow Essence this turn though. What if he gets something like a Lich King? Then I would have to react. Hmm. Well, that was... I don't know what he's waiting for now. Well, he might of course have a full kill once he... if he gets a good cloning gallery and stuff. I think I'm playing Malfurion here. And the taunt, taunt scarabs, taunt scarabs are fine. Could have also went for the poisonous ones, but I actually don't want to kill the gargoyle that badly. I could have also killed the gargoyle and milled a card because the coin would then take one space from his hand. Will I play priest tonight? I was planning to play some druid. I played quite a lot of priest. Okay, spends one coin. Nice. Oh, to make a velen. Not a bad choice, not a bad choice at all. Then he can just keep resurrecting that villain and that will be pretty nasty. But I suppose I will have to kill it anyway. Not my favorite thing to do, but I fully expect him to resurrect it again next turn. So I make a play that puts me in a good position to play ultimate infestation next turn. I need to get rid of some cards in hand first. Clotonus was only good if he gets weapon from Lich King. Might have some difficulties getting rid of all these cards. I will have to kill the Velen, of course. Because I have to play the Clotonus Ooze too. But this means that that Velen is going to get resurrected many, many times. Here's one of those resurrects. And he has a coin. But if that's everything, then that is not very intimidating. Not yet, anyway. I want to get rid of some of these cards. So I could swipe and hit to kill the Velen. I also want to start buffing up the spell stone, right? Then I can't do UI next turn. Unless I use the spell stone now, but I don't use the Gladonosus. That might work. My thoughts are I'll just take the armor here. Then I can swipe and spell stone the villain. And this opens up. I mean, if he resurrects the villain again, but doesn't kill the minions, then I can do UI and use the Gladonosus to kill the villain again. But we'll see what his resurrect plan is. 
Of course, if he has cloning gallery here and he gets a really good board, then I could have saved the swipe for this. That was possible. So maybe I should have done that. Because this is that that was a completely unnecessary attack though. Well, top taking a swipe is also pretty decent. But do I want one million scarabs that he can psychic scream back into my deck? And the answer is no, I do not. So I'm going to have to swipe this board. I have to swipe those. And punch face a little bit. And I suppose I'll take some armor. Now there's Velen, there's Maligos. There's everything in the Resurrect pool. Of course, Servitude doesn't necessarily find any spell damage minions. He got another cloning gallery from Lyra. One Lyra card and that was a cloning gallery. Well, that was pretty unfortunate. Hi, <laughs> Xbow. Yeah, that was indeed pretty unfortunate. That probably means that I will lose. Seems like that. Hmm. Has two Radiant Elementals here too. So then if he can resurrect something useful then... Oh boy, oh boy. I think I have to kill the Malegos. Because otherwise it's too easy for him to get the OTK. But that was too early, I should have played Spreading Plague first. Or maybe it was just fine because... I'm going to get so many... So many of these into my deck if he chooses to go with a... If he chooses to go with a... Psychic Scream. Then getting five Scarabs into my deck is pretty annoying. He might also have more resources, but I've already seen one servitude. So even though a couple of Velans have died and a couple of Maligoses have done, he is able to Shadow Essence into a Maligos again. Well, that was pretty unfortunate, I would say. I mean, I know his deck has all the seven minions. Or at least six minions. All the seven, because that was a top deck card. So I know there were all the seven minions and he was able to get exactly Maligos. So, yeah. I mean, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> this is... this is... this is really ridiculous. Unfortunate. Lyra gave him a holy smite too. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful indeed. Also no, he has Malikos in hand. Well, I can't play the UI. I have to naturalize that Maligos and I need to armor up. And hopefully he doesn't get anything that deals damage. Well, I destroyed the Servitude. Do you think this is still the best Druid deck? Well, I had better results with Torn Druid yesterday. And there's a video of that already on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check out the Taunt Druid, then that's available there. Hmm, Lich King. Not bad. Not bad at all. Bunch of Lyra cards. Alright, alright. Not quite enough to push through, but pretty decent. Pretty decent amount of damage anyway. Okay, so now is the UI turn. Yes, this has to be the UI on that Lich King now. So we'll get rid of the Lich King. I get a little bit of health going. And I can kill the Lyra. I can kill Lyra and the, and the Radiant Elementals. But he still has a Maligos in hand and a Maligos in deck. I don't have real answers to those. 
So that's kind of a problem. But I suppose I do need to kill the Lyra and the Radiant Elementals. Let's see. Losing Ziliax isn't... I mean, he has at least two Maligosis left. And he has a Holy Smite and a Mind Blast left. Because the one Holy Smite was randomly generated. And he has one spell stone left too. So how am I going to do this? I spent both moon fires and I spent both swipes. So I don't have any damage. I also spent both spreading plagues. So my main problem is how on earth am I going to deal with the Maligos? He can just play Maligos on the board. And I don't have any answer the Maligos left in the deck. Other than one that could be of naturalize. But Alex is not an answer to Malegos either. Yeah. He might also go for a spell stone, in which case I might get to do something with the MC text, but I think he just drops the Malegos here. Well, that was a pretty good pool of Resurrects, considering he had a bunch of Gargoyles, a bunch of all sorts of weak cards out there, but let's see. So I can take one of these, and that one is the Mali, which at least is kind of promising. But that's still 14 damage. Yeah, I don't think I can survive this, obviously. But I mean, come on, his RNG was completely ridiculous. So he should have won a long time ago. He got another Xerex cloning gallery from Lyra. Oh. Well, that was interesting, wasn't that, wasn't it? Two Xerex cloning galleries from Lyra. Very, very powerful RNG. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.